which is about finding a way to compute in a greener way. Um, and when we say greener, we mean reducing the carbon footprint. And it's a joint effort between Harvard, Arizona State University, and Facebook. And if you think that's kind of like an odd grab bag of folks to be researching on something together, um, I did too. But turns out the lead researcher, Udit Gupta, he's a PhD candidate at Harvard. He's also an intern at Facebook. So he kind of helped bridge the gap between academia and corporation that's to work really together. That's really sweet on reducing the environmental impact of computing, which I think is, you know, really, really important. Academic Basically, and industry coming together. This I don't think we've done this before. Very nice. Yeah, it's it's super interesting. And basically what he did, and uh, Udi and his team, um, they explored every aspect of computing. They analyzed emissions from using the computers, and we hear a lot about that, like mining Bitcoin expends a lot of energy, or using the cloud expends a lot of energy but also the entire rest of the life cycle. So manufacturing, and then also whether or not these components can be recycled. And basically what they found, which is a little bit surprising to me because we focus so much on, you know, what's the wattage of the computer or the server that you're using? They actually said that most of the emissions, most of the carbon footprint is actually related to the hardware manufacturing, the infrastructure that goes along with that, and then also the disposal of it. That makes sense. So I should be focusing on having a chip that actually meets my usage instead of how much energy I'm using. So how, how long I'm using my computers and things like that. Exactly. So they said the main like X factor in terms of how much emissions your computer setup was having was actually the utilization of the amount of silicon in the processors. Um, and it's been like a local or a recent trend to move towards super high performance processors. I mean, I'm looking to build a PC soon. So, I mean, Forbode, you hooked me up with the right GPU that I wanted. Um, you know, finding the right processors, the way that these work so well and work so much better than the ones in the past is they've actually find a, found a way to have much more dark silicon. And what they mean by dark silicon is there's a higher proportion of the chip that's not being activated at any given time. But isn't that, that a good thing? The temperature. It helps increase the lifespan of the device. It's generally a good thing in terms of performance. Right. But when you think about it in terms of all the energy that went into manufacturing that chip and only a small percentage of it is being utilized at any given time, it's pretty wasteful. So like it, my iPhone, it's been kicking for a couple of years now. I have an iPhone 7. If it had a chip that only met the requirements of the iOS it was using at the time, it would have probably died out on me two years ago or something. So is, are you basically saying like we need to find a balance or should we just... Yeah, it's like, it's a, it's a tug of war. It's a balancing act. We need to find a compromise. Okay. Because what these researchers are saying is basically we're on a trend where we're, you know, developing processors with more and more dark silicon, which actually is increasing the carbon footprint, even if the performance of the device is getting better. So they say just, you know, another um, criteria by which we should be looking at the environmental impact of the computers that we're using is by saying how much of the chip is unused. Um, finding a way that we can still use more of the chip, but also compromise on the battery life and the length and the performance of the processors. You know, they say that's the happy medium between, um, you know, finding something that's environmentally efficient and also performs well. Yeah, I mean, that makes sense. I, I see where they're coming from. And it, it's, a, it's a call to reduce the focus you know, th there is a rightful focus on how much power is being consumed in the usage of these computers. But they say, you know, actually what you can make a bigger impact doing is by like maybe downsizing the processor if, processor if you don't need it as much because the manufacturing of it will cause much more lifetime emissions than you plugging in your computer and using it. Well, that's something great for you to keep in mind as you're building your PC if you can find the rest of the parts. Exactly. Uh, like I imagine logging on to PC part picker where I'm trying to find my parts and they have an extra criteria on there, which is like the silicon usage.